If an accident like this can happen at 16,000 feet and everyone lands unharmed, then flying must be safe, right? The fear of flying can be crippling, preventing even the most keen travellers from missing out on a once-in-a-lifetime experience. They would much rather get in a car, a bus or a train to get where they need to go. But what if I told you all three of these methods of transport are more dangerous and deadly than a plane? Flying is in fact extremely safe. To put it in perspective, in 2022, out of a staggering 32.2 million flights, only five of those resulted in fatalities. That's approximately 0.000016%. You would need to take a flight every single day for 25,214 years to be involved in a 100% fatal accident. Even when accidents happen in the air, they are often safely navigated with no fatalities. Take the Hudson landing of 2009, a disaster averted by one pilot's decision. Just after takeoff, the aircraft, an Airbus A320 operated by US Airways, took off from LaGuardia Airport in New York. Just two minutes into the flight, the plane flew into a flock of Canada geese, causing what is referred to as a bird strike. Both engines were severely damaged, causing an almost complete loss of thrust. Repeated attempts to restart the engines were unsuccessful. Shortly after, he notified Air Control that he would attempt a water landing in the Hudson River. Nobody was hurt thanks to the veteran pilot and resilient aircraft. If this can happen on a flight in one of the most densely populated cities in the world and everyone lands unharmed, then surely flying is safe. But before we dive deeper into how safe it really is and what advancements are coming to make it even safer, we need to talk about what actually causes plane crashes. Approximately 80% of accidents are due to human error, such as pilot mistakes, air traffic control errors, and engineering faults. One of the most tragic examples of human error came in 2009. Three hours into Air France Flight 447 from Rio to Paris, the Airbus A330-200 headed into an area of severe thunderstorm activity and was never heard from again. Tragically, all 228 people on board lost their lives as the plane entered an aerodynamic stall and plunged into the Atlantic Ocean. The weather had caused the pitot tubes, which measured the speed of the aircraft, to freeze and malfunction. This set off a cascading series of events. Experts concluded that the crash was due to the pilot's failure to take corrective action as they relied too heavily on automation. The accident prompted a renewed effort to retrain pilots, improving their ability to manually fly the plane no matter what the computer is telling them. The remaining 20% of accidents are attributed to mechanical failures, including engine malfunctions, electronic issues, and the most serious, plane hull integrity failures. The most recent example of this was the Alaska Airlines flight 1282. Just a few minutes into the flight, at 16,000 feet, the plane encountered uncontrolled decompression due to a blown out plug covering an unused exit door. Despite the frightening situation, the aircraft landed safely, with all 177 passengers and crew members surviving. Luckily, nobody was seated near the affected door plug, resulting in only three reported injuries on board. Several belongings, including an iPhone, fell from the aircraft, but were later recovered. The door plug was also recovered from a garden of a home in Cedar Hills. After an investigation, it was attributed to a manufacturing error. The door plug wasn't bolted in place properly, Specifically, four bolts were missing. You can be sure that every Boeing plane now has to run through extra checks to ensure these bolts are never missing again. Whilst the plane and the pilot are controllable factors, adverse weather conditions are not. Because of this, pilots go through detailed training programs to help them recognize and respond to weather-related challenges that may occur. One fear people have whilst flying through a storm is if the plane is struck by lightning. But it's not actually as rare as you think. It's estimated that each plane in the US commercial fleet is struck by lightning more than once each year. The last confirmed commercial plane crash due to lightning was in 1967, when it caused a catastrophic fuel tank explosion. Since then, much has been learned about how lightning can affect planes. 
Today, planes receive a rigorous set of lightning certification tests to verify the safety of their designs. If the plane is struck by lightning, passengers may see a bright flash and hear a loud noise. Initially, the lightning will attach to an extremity such as the nose or wingtip. The current will travel through the conductive exterior of the aircraft and exit off some other extremity, such as the tail. Sometimes, pilots report temporary flickering of light or short-lived interference with instruments, but that's likely all that will happen due to expert modern engineering. Unfortunately, air accidents do happen every year, and a very small percentage of those are fatal. But it's evident that each and every one provides a learning experience to prevent it from happening again. These have contributed to quite unbelievable safety statistics, so let's dive into them. You may have heard the quote before that you're more likely to have an accident driving to the airport than flying itself. And that's kind of true. According to the International Civil Aviation Organization, flying is the first ultra-safe transportation system in history. For every 10 million cycles, which is a takeoff and a landing, there's less than one catastrophic failure. Even if you're unlucky enough to be involved in an air accident, survivability rates are about 95.7%, so the odds are with you no matter what. When you compare this to driving, which most people use as a transportation method daily, the statistics become even more mind-blowing. The fairest way to compare the two is fatalities per 100 million miles, as naturally, there are a lot more car journeys taken each day than flights. So when you look at it this way, in 2021, in the USA, there were 0.57 fatalities per 100 million miles in passenger vehicles, 0.05 in railroad passenger trains, 0.001 in buses, and a staggeringly low 0.0001 in commercial airlines. 2017 was the safest year on record for air travel. Incredibly, there were zero fatalities on commercial airlines. New technologies and training methods are responsible for making the safety even better. So what are they? Many modern jetliners have seen traditional mechanical controls replaced by sophisticated electronic systems, a design known as fly-by-wire. Pilots primarily manage data in these aircrafts, whilst technology handles the physical aspects of flying. Advanced displays, global satellite positioning, and telecommunications have greatly enhanced flight accuracy compared to the early days of aviation. Automated weather avoidance systems is an advanced technology that provides pilots with real-time weather information to help them make better decisions and avoid hazardous conditions. A lot of advancements in aviation are a result of regulatory improvements. Regulations cover various aspects from minimizing work hours to ensuring high-quality materials for aircraft parts. For example, all seats on an aircraft adhere to stringent standards for head impact safety and durability. Modern aeroplane seats are designed to withstand forces up to 16 times the force of gravity. The cushions and fabrics are self-extinguishing and do not emit toxic smoke. Back on the ground, a new sophisticated air traffic system operates in the background, allowing aircraft to follow pre-programmed routes via GPS. Most modern aeroplanes can maintain exact horizontal positions, ensuring they stay within a narrow airspace. This seamless connection between ground and onboard systems create virtual sky highways where aircraft remain in designated lanes. Observable safety enhancements extend to airports themselves. Movement detection monitors track all vehicles on runways, terminal gates and taxiways, automatically alerting controllers to potential collision risks. AI is also starting to play a role in the future of air travel safety. AI-driven predictive maintenance systems analyze vast amounts of data from sensors and equipment on planes, enabling airlines to predict when components need servicing or replacement. This proactive approach reduces the risk of in-flight malfunctions, ensuring that aircraft are in optimal condition. AI also assists pilots during flights by providing real-time data analysis and predictive analysis Automated systems can identify and address potential safety concerns 
such as weather changes or navigation adjustments, helping pilots make informed decisions and avoid dangerous situations. Additionally, AI contributes to air safety through improved air traffic management. AI algorithms help optimize air traffic flow, reducing congestion in the skies and minimizing the risk of mid-air collisions. There is, however, a contentious development which is being considered, and that's implementing biometric identification, such as a fingerprint or facial recognition. This technology eliminates the need for paper tickets and boarding passes. It reduces the potential for identity theft, and it speeds up the boarding process, allowing airlines to optimize their operations and enhance customer satisfaction. Additionally, biometric identification is crucial for improving flight safety by ensuring that only authorized individuals gain access to the aircraft. With concerns about security and the need to streamline air travel, it's no wonder that the demand for biometric identification on aircraft continues to rise, despite the philosophical issues that may arise from passengers. So if you're more likely to be involved in a fatal accident whilst driving and not flying, then why don't we have a widespread fear of getting in a car? Perhaps the truth lies in the altitude. We live our entire lives on the ground, so we feel more comfortable there, making us believe flying is more dangerous than it is. This is made worse by the media. Every large plane accident is covered globally by all major news outlets. But that's not the case for fatal car crashes. It's far from it. This increased exposure of plane crashes have led people to believe they happen more often than they do, when, as this video has hopefully proved, flying is much safer than you think.